there is a war going on for your mind. Media mavens mount surgical strikes from Trapper Keeper collages and online magazine racks. Can we ask your question real quick? Do you know who uh, gave the order to not let William Rodriguez come in and do that interview on Sunday there? You know who William Rodriguez is? Oh, he was the pretty much the last man. He was uh, the last man out of the North Tower in World Trade Center. Uh, they had was, scheduled an appointment with him, and uh, I guess they canceled it the last gonna, second. He was Sunday you morning guys. at Fox. He was outside the front door, and they talked about we're going to have uh, Willie Rodriguez on uh, in a minute. And, and then a phone call must have came in. Yeah, morning. Sunday morning. Yeah. It's supposed to be like yeah, eight nine or something in the morning. Yeah, it would have been nine o'clock. Which, which time is uh, Fox, uh, the one in Washington on, or New York, wherever it is? It was right after that. Uh, yeah, I think they split it on Sunday morning. Yeah, it's like they got news, and then, then they got out there, and then they got news again. And, and this part was when they were going to be on. Because I guess the story that they ran instead of taking William Rodriguez, which is a very important, yeah, how to dress your dog or something like that. They yeah. didn't let a national hero on, but they uh, had Katie K-9 on. You should definitely, I mean, if you haven't heard of him, look into now, William our, Rodriguez. Just, and you're talking about our local show? Yeah, yes. Yeah. No, your local yep, show. because he came in for two, he did one in, in Spanish, and then he did one in English later in the night, and he was supposed to be there in the morning, and he was there with uh, Professor Kevin Barrett from uh, University you, of Wisconsin. I mean, I have no idea. I've heard anything about it. Do you know if he was something? Oh, he was No, 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 they were standing outside. The guards just said, the, uh, we're not allowed to let you in. It's definitely, I mean, I mean, I guess I could understand them not wanting that story because, I mean, there's been other, not even Fox, like there was an ABC story that they actually switched his story from what his story really is. They didn't really switch it, but they cut it, like, so that cut he didn't up. say what he was actually going to say. And, uh, I mean, he was the one that he reported about multiple bombs going off in the basements before the plane struck. was an inside job, you know that. Uh, and he, he was, he came to town to, uh, Tell his story he had the, ma the he had the master key that led in all the firemen to the stairwells. <laughs> this website's on there. We can do it at home. Don't do it at work because we don't want you fired. Yeah. yeah. When you get free time, they'll check into William Rodriguez. Yeah. Though I mean, check out on YouTube and stuff. Just listen to his some of the speeches he's given. I mean, it's, it's one of the saddest stories ever. But like you said, I mean, he's a true hero. And this guy, I mean. He, he ran in multiple times. He was one of the four people that had the master key to the stairwells, and everybody else ran away, and he stayed there and helped bring people Help down. People yet, yet the government doesn't want it out because they don't want people to know that 9-11 was done by people in our government. Not a secret. Norm knows. Talk to, Rob, talk to Robin like about this. it. Robin seems to know a lot about it, too. <laughs> we sat there like this when they were investigating 9-11 and make Norm... You know, keep, the coal, keep their feet ran, to the coals. <laughs> he ran from me the first time I met him. Yeah, out at the, uh, the synagogue around the corner on 100 and 394. Right around and back in. I should tell you the story. You'll love it. <clears throat> I waited until everybody got done. And during his little speech, like in here, where you, you were inside here, he kept saying, uh, I'm here to answer the hard question. I'm here to answer the hard question. So I waited until everybody got done. And I said, Norm, can I ask you a hard question? Yeah. Oh, okay. we're, yeah, we're you're not here for that? No, no, no. I thought you were here for that. No, we're not. <laughs> so he said, yeah, sure, come on with me. I never met him before. Come on with me. we got to go. We'll walk down the hall and talk. So we're walking together side by side, and I says, Norm, here's the first hard question. Are you a Republican first or an American first? I'm an American first, he says. He says Norm, here's the second hard question. You were the chair of the Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations. Yes, I was. And we hit the corner of the huge lobby. Norm's in a suit and tie. He's got security with him, camera guy, all that stuff. And I said, here's the third hard question. 9-11 was an inside job. Boom! He goes flying right across this room filled with people in a suit. And he's running across there. Yeah, true. He screams out partway across. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. He gets a little further and he yells, do you really believe that? And I scream out, yes, I do. He runs through the double aluminum doors, and the security guy stops like this, and I run right into his back. Yeah. He steps out of the way, and I go chasing after him, and I take off over to the black suburban, and jump into the huge plane. So then two weeks later, remember the support the troops dinner? My brother was in Iraq, so I'm sitting there eating my steak, and my little boy is sitting there. He looks up, and he says, there's Norm. Are you going to talk to him? Set down my stuff. I said, Yes, I am. I got up about this close and I said, Norm, you ran from me. <laughs> he 
said, well, you know. And I said, yes, I do. When 9-11 Final Cut comes out in theaters nationwide, you guys are in trouble. We know. That's what he said. So now this is the fourth time I've seen it. He knows. Do you know about World Trade Center 7? It was, a, it was the seventh building in the World Trade Center complex fell in six and a half seconds on 9-11 at 5.20 in the afternoon. The third building. I asked him about that, because I mean, it's basically like healthcare related and stuff like that, and I was just asking him about the first responders, because we got 30,000 plus, plus all the citizens that they told them it was okay to go back and breathe the air there. And he kind of just didn't really answer that, but I asked him why, if he would support a new 9-11 investigation, and he's like, oh, we already had one, basically, and that, uh, how was it? Oh, I asked him about World Trade Center 7 being left out of the 9-11 Commission report, and then he said that that's government, black, that's a black helicopter black conspiracy stuff. talk and stuff like that. And it's just, he didn't this run is about for me 9 out of 10 politicians we talked to give us the same thing. We talked to John Conyers a couple weeks ago, and he, as soon as we hit him with that World Trade Center 7 question, they just, I mean, they, they know, but they just kind of go, it's a, they it's just a stare state, off into space. It's a national secret, it's a state secret, and they're sworn not to talk about it otherwise they get arrested for spilling a national security secret. Our government did. Not only the people in our government. Like I always say that right. It wasn't our government. It was people in our government who did it. And that's why we make them nervous when we come around and go. Look, huh? The that, was the story. that was the That uh, that was the uh, screenplay that uh, uh, they told uh, the American public. It really was terrorist. <laughs> Pay me a card. This is the, the website on there is our local one, Minnesota. But uh, if you go, just over. put an org at the end of We Are Change and then check that out. That's our main page. What's the what? What's the what video stuff you guys were talking about? Loose change. Loose change. change. Final cut is supposed to be out no, November no, the other, 11th. The other thing. Thanks, the other guys. Thing I gotta get ready for my shower. Thank you. Thanks for talking. Nice time, my roommate. You check into that. What was that? My roommate. There is a war going on for your mind.